I'm Shelly Turner with the Builderall team. In this video, we're going to look at the blueprint and we're going to edit the survey funnel. So here's the blueprint of the survey funnel. And the first thing we'll do is we'll actually have some type of traffic that's sent into our funnel, whether that traffic is from Facebook ads or from YouTube ads, or even if that traffic is coming from a different funnel that you have. And at the end of that funnel, you send them into this survey funnel. So the first page that they'll hit when they come in is the survey page. And this is where you're going to ask them a question. And then based on their answer, whatever their answer is, they'll go to a very specific page inside the funnel. So you might have a question such as, what is your favorite product from our store? And you might list three different products. And if they click a certain product, say product number one, they're sent to this page, which is similar products or products that work with that product so they can purchase an, another product from you related to that first purchase that they liked. So this survey funnel is designed to send them to a page that encourages them or entices them to actually purchase even more. You can choose once they click on the survey and go to their uh, survey page and then go to the next funnel page. You can choose to send them to the thank you page once they've done the survey, but it's even better to send them to a new funnel or to a new page that tries to sell them another product or service of yours. So we don't necessarily have to send them to the thank you page. We can send them to another page outside of this funnel or a brand new funnel. So let's go ahead and jump in and start editing our funnel. So I'm inside the editor and I'm going to go to survey funnel and click the arrow. And these are our pages. We've got the main survey page here. And then we've got three funnel pages and then we've got a thank you page. And on the thank you page, we've got a call to action button. So let's go ahead and take a look at the home page. This is the survey page. This is the main page of the funnel. And what you're going to do is you're going to ask them a question. And then based on the answer that they choose, you're going to send them to a specific page. So let's go ahead and put in a question and then put three answers in there. So I've put in a question and then I put in three possible answers. So the question is, what is the most difficult issue when you start a new diet? And the answers are sticking with the diet every day, being around friends that are not on a diet, and then not being able to eat my favorite foods when I want. So let's say that your visitor chose answer number one, sticking with the diet every day. What we're going to do is we're going to set up this button right here. If I right click this button, you'll see that it's a button and I can choose the action. And on the action, I'm going to choose the page that it's going to go to. And then I'm going to choose select. And I'm going to select next funnel one to go with this button number one. So when I click it, I'm going to click OK. And now what's going to happen is if they select this item and click that button, it's going to take them to that next funnel one page. On that next funnel one page, I'm going to have information for them on how they can stick to their diet every day. I might have the top five ways to stick to your diet and have information on how to do that. And then at the end of that information, I'm going to have a link to a product or a service that will help them stick to their diet every day. So based on their answers, we're giving them products or we're giving them services. So on the next one, it says being around friends that are not on a diet. I'm going to right click that button. I'm going to go to action. I'm going to go to page. And then for this one on select, I'm going to choose next funnel number two. So that means when that person clicks that button, they're going to get some type of article that talks about how they can stick to their diet even when everyone around them is not on a diet. And then once that information is on that page and they read it, at the end, there's gonna be a link to a product that helps them solve that problem. So this is tailoring specifically to what your customers need. So you'll do that with, with each of these questions. You can add questions, you can take away questions. It doesn't have to be three questions. It can be as many as you want. And then for the pages, you just make a page for each answer that you provide for your site visitor. So once that page is configured, you're going to go ahead and click the Save button. 
And this is the first time I'm saving, so I have to name my site and then click Send and Save. And now the survey page is done. Now I'm going to take a quick look at each of the next funnel pages. So I'm going to go to my page icon and I'm going to go to the layout. And on the next funnel page one, which is the answer right here, right, sticking with the diet every day, I'm going to click that page and this is going to answer that issue for your site visitor. And you can do this as a video or you can do it as uh, typed out content, however you want to deliver the answer to that issue. So let's say you do a video and then at the end of the video you've got a button right here. You want to send them to a product that you have that can solve this problem. Okay, so to do that you just right click the button and you go to action and here you can send them to a specific page inside this funnel or you can send them to a web address outside of the funnel and that would be the best idea because you can send them to a brand new funnel that focuses on how to stick to a diet. It may be an ebook or it may be a course that you've created or something like that. So you can send them to a brand new funnel to sell them something related to sticking to their diet. So once you've created that, you just click OK and that page is set up and you're going to do the same thing for the rest of the next funnel pages. So you configure each one of those to go to a product that answers the issue that they chose in that survey. So these pages are designed to actually allow you to send your website visitor directly to new funnels to help them solve an issue. So that's how you'll set up your survey funnel inside of Builderall.